What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. And today we are fishing with a bait that I've been waiting forever to fish with. And that is this Savage Gear Wake Snake. And this is the 8 inch one. They make a 12 inch one. And this one's in black just because I like black for top water. Just that dark silhouette in the sun it does really well. But I've been waiting forever for a company to put out a relatively well priced snake like hard bait. There's some soft plastic ones. They don't really have a great action. I wouldn't say walking, but like, you know, slither. They don't slither very very well on the surface and they make some really expensive ones that are like a hundred bucks I'm not gonna drop a hundred dollars on a snake lure so Savage Gear finally coming in at a price point I forget what it is I'll put it somewhere on the screen but today we're gonna be using this on these golf course ponds and this pond specifically I've only fished once I had some good luck in it I think I caught a four and a five or two bass very similar to that weight and so we're just gonna get out of here get after them and hopefully these bass chomp down on the snake and it's show time. Let's get the show on the road and hopefully we can get this thing absolutely hammered by bass here shortly. Oh, there goes something off the bank to my left. There we go, first fish on. First fish is secured on the snake. He didn't nail it, he kind of just sucked it in. I thought that he would probably smack a little bit harder being a snake, but he kind of just came up and slurped it. And it is a decent bass. He got a little grass on him. I was gonna say he's got a snake on him, but that's just grass. Not too shabby. Solid little fish on the snake. Hopefully we get a little bit more size than this as a solid start, a little two pounder. Good fish, go ahead and get this thing undone. Got a mouthful of hooks. Time to let this little dude go. So now that we've established that bass will actually eat this dang thing, it is time to put some quantity and some quality on the board. Let's get back to work. Come on, there's gotta be a good big bass somewhere in this pond that is ready to swamp this thing. I'm talking about absolutely clobber it because I know if this comes across the big boy, he is not gonna give it a second chance to get away. Just by the looks of this pond, it's relatively clear. And from what I can tell looking into it, there's a good amount of grass. Oh, there's a blow up. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Second fish. Seems like it's a little bit better one. Maybe. I can't tell. Come on in here, but not about the same size. But there's a good amount of grass all over the top, or not the top, but the bottom of this body of water. And these fish are probably just tucked up in it. And that's all I'm going to do is just run across the top of it with this snake. Fish number two, solid little beauty. This fish didn't quite get it, the snake all the way in its mouth, but the hooks did a good job of hanging them up anyways. Go ahead and pop these off. There they go. Give y'all a good look at this fish right here. Solid little two pounder, maybe a little bit better than that last one. Regardless, let's get her back in. Now go grow bigger, you hear? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that fish just fell face first into the mud and rolled over. That was pretty funny. It's been about 14 minutes, two fish. I cannot complain. Let's keep the ball rolling. I think I got a little pattern going. I think these fish are tucked pretty tight in this grass. It's hanging anywhere from like 10 to 15 feet off this bank. They might be up under those bushes, but I can't really get the snake over there. So I'm just going to work this grass and see what kind of production we can get. Oh my God, there's a bass literally chasing this baby gator right here. No way. <laughs> I swear to God, if that bass blows up on that baby gator, that would be hilarious. <laughs> I wish y'all could have seen that. There was like a four pound bass like trailing that little gator right there like he was gonna blow up on him. I might have to find a, a little baby gator lure and see if I can get a strike on that. That would be hilarious. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, right there at the bank. Right there at the bank. Oh, crap. He came right out of these weeds right here. See if he'll go back for it. Dang. Wow, missed that. Lost opportunity. There we go. Oh, no. Missed him. All right, we're two for four right now. 
Ah, that's unfortunate. Pretty typical of top water hookup ratios. You miss a good amount. There we go, fish on. Fish on. Seems decent. Gotta keep it down so it doesn't jump and get off. Come on in here, buddy. No, 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 no. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Come on in here, bud. There you go. Best fish yet, by far. Good looking bass. Send her back in flying. Bye. While I'm waiting for a nice slaunch donkey to come clobber this thing, let me tell you a quick story on why I'm so excited to fish this lure now and in the future. About three years ago, I was fishing a lake with my buddy and we're coming across the lake and I feel like I hear a cinder block come out of the sky and hit the water behind us. I turn around and all I see is this like two foot long snake swimming along the surface. And now I'm watching him. I was like, there's no way he made that much noise. And all of a sudden, the biggest bat, oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, he got off. But <laughs> the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life, I'm talking like upwards of possibly 15 pounds, just an absolute goliath, comes out of the water just trying to inhale this snake. And he couldn't get it down his throat and he's out in the middle of this little small lake and all the way to the bank, this snake is fleeing for his life. And this bass, time and time again, is coming all the way out of the water to hit this thing. And I'm throwing whopper ploppers next to it, everything I got. All he was interested in was in the snake. So ever since then, I've been itching to throw a snake in any body of water, especially that one, in hopes of landing a pig like that one. Oh, oh, there we go. Came back and hit it again. He wanted that snake. Come in here, buddy. Come on in here. Not the world's biggest bass but a respectable one because he chomped on the snake. Get on in here. Not once, but twice. He wanted that whole thing down his throat. No wonder this fish wanted this thing. He is a absolute chunk for his size. He is just a thick little boy. It's a fat bass right there. I mean, no wonder he tried to choke it down twice. This dude is a pig. He is fat. I mean, he's not like the biggest bass in the world, but for his size, he is a fat little dude. I'm telling you right now, Right now, this guy, future giant. Gotta let those hungry jeans go. Let him get back in the water, do his thing. Oh, that fish crushed it. Oh, he just smacked it way up in the air though. He just pushed it way out in front of him. Now, if you're still not sure if you want to be part of this awesome fishing community on this channel, how about this $20 Tackle Warehouse gift card right there for one of y'all lucky viewers. Probably going to be one of my subscribers, but if you are new to the channel and want a chance at winning a $20 Tackle Warehouse gift card, every single week I give away one, and the best chance to win is to one, be subscribed, and two, have bell notifications on. Because in one of my videos randomly every single week i'm going to have a tack warehouse coupon code or not coupon gift card code for 20 bucks first come first serve if you see it first you got it so the best way to win that is have the notifications on and the only way to do that is be subscribed and you might win yourself 20 bucks so you know just some food for thought think about it i expect to see a nice large mouth on the end of this hook by the time he gets it back you know, see how my fortune favors. I've called a good amount of fish on this channel. I'm, I am saying that, so I wouldn't be surprised to get absolutely swamped. Oh, what did I say? I told you there was going to be a fish on there this hook by the time I got it back. Let's go. Oh, I wouldn't say he swamped it, but he definitely hit it pretty good. Good fish. I mean, if you were thinking about subscribing, now would be a great time. I mean, not too often you see that happen on YouTube. That was a pretty epic moment, but I'm struggling to get this hook out of this little fish right here. But how about that? That was awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Got her unhooked, just a little small fry. Let's get her back in and keep the party going. Bye, girl. Oh, ugh. 
the bugs and the no seams and the flies are coming out in full force as soon as that sun drops. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack things up and put the snake away. So hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video and if you did, drop a like for me and subscribe. And as always, fasten is a passion. Peace.